and welcome to Getting Your Money's Worth, the show that focuses on value. I'm Judith West, and our guest today is Janice Latham, develop, founder, developer, president, general, uh, general all for one, right, of Powering Potential. Hi, Janice. Thanks for being on the show again, actually. Thank you. So let's, a little bit of background. You were on about a year ago, and you had this idea, this concept for Powering Potential, which in a you know, briefly give us the mission again of, pro of Powering Potential. Well, our mission is to use technology to enhance education and stimulate imaginations for students in Tanzania while respecting and incorporating values of the local culture. Okay. So you want to expand the opportunities for kids in Tanzania, Tanzania, but you want to be respectful to their culture, their values, and expand their, their own educational opportunities as well as their uh, worldview, the, world, the worldview of what's out there. Yes. Yeah, when we get done with Tanzania, Tanzania, maybe we'll come back to the United States. <laughs> we, could, we could certainly use you there. So anyway, this was a concept. But why, again, just remind us, so we can, then we want to go forward. Why, why Tanzania? Well, I went to Tanzania on a safari five years ago. And I became, in very, I became very inspired by the students that I met there. I had introduced myself to them in Swahili, and they just exploded into applause afterwards. How did you know Swahili? Well, before my, before my safari, I hired a Swahili tutor. I wanted to learn some of their language to speak to them in their own language as a way of showing basic respect. And what's your background for technology again? I've forgotten. I've had a computer consulting business in New York City for about 25 years, okay. specializing in training. Okay, so you had, the, you had this background. Okay, yes. so you went on safari, you fell in love with Tanzania, the kids loved you because you could say hello and Swahili, which makes everybody feel very good about the person they're speaking to, mm -hmm. and uh, you came on, you came, and and one, and you came on the show. Now, uh, from there, there's been you've had quite a success story. So, from where you were a year ago, where you had this idea, where are you now? Well, um, a year ago, we had already installed five computers at one school, and also put in a solar energy system. And How did you put in a solar energy system? Well, the safari, the safari company that I had gone on my safari with, they recommended a local solar company in Tanzania, and we worked with them. And this past year, I got, an embassy, I got a grant from the U.S. Embassy in Tanzania, which allowed us to expand our solar energy system. And we're working with a company in Tanzania called Ensol. And we also installed four computers at another school in Tanzania, a Maasai school. And we have a plan now to install 15 more computers at our original school. So there will be 21 computers in that school. And then we want to start a training program. We want to take the secondary school graduates and give them intensive training in technology for five months. and then take some of the graduates and send them out to other schools where we've installed computer networks. How, how are you financing all of this, Jan uh, Janice? Well, I'm raising money through individuals and foundations. The Siegel Family Foundation has been very generous to our organization, the Oswald Family Foundation, the U.S. Embassy in Tanzania, and then over 200 individuals. Right. Wow. So uh, you're on the roll. We're on the roll. <laughs> the yeah. momentum is definitely picking up. Right. And you're giving uh, the folks of Tanzania their money's worth. That's, I, that's costing them anything, right? That's right. Yeah, well, right. they do contribute to the project. Part of the uh, requirement of the embassy grant was that the local community contribute something to the project. So the school board agreed to pay for the tables and chairs for the computer lab and also the district. Now, you call this powering potential. You call, where you, you call yourself Technology Tent. Well, Powering Potential is the name of the organization. And what's the Technology Tent? The Technology Tent is the name of our program. I see. Which is, it's a three-phase program. Install a solar energy system, install a computer network, and then provide training. And your, your, um, the technology is altogether service with solar energy, solar power? Yes, right. yes. Okay. So this is one of the schools in Tanzania? Yes, okay. that's the Banjika School. Right. And that shows a picture of the satellite dish that we installed last September. Okay. And also the solar energy, um, the solar panels on the, the solar roof. panel, right. Mm -hmm. right. Um, 
You know, I'm fascinated by this because the very thing that you say you're doing in Tanzania, we could certainly use here with solar power. <laughs> yeah, definitely. You know, it's, it's kind of it's kind of amazing to me, Janice, that someone who is American is taking all this expertise and sophistication, and it's wonderful and giving it giving it to a, a country uh, that's eating it up. Well, we have to use the solar energy because there is no electricity. Right. right. They don't have landlines in these rural areas. We work in rural areas. Yeah. Right. But it's still it's a very good it's a very good test lab for doing the same kind of thing in the rural areas of this country. Well, that's right. That's it, true. It's a it's a, it's, right. a it's a test lab. Uh, so the uh, the I'm sure the, the the level of appreciation the kids are eating this up, right? Oh. They love it. Tell, tell us about some of those success stories. Well, the students, first of all, they're very eager to get an education, and they now are that they, they, is it, are the schools co-ed? Yes, and now that they have access to the internet, they just they're emailing, they're exploring websites. There's I got a statement from one of the teachers who said this is just wonderful, Janice. The students, when we give them assignments, they write a lot about it. They're looking all the information up on websites, and everybody wants to learn now. And so, what are, what is the official language in the school? Swahili. Well, no, the school is taught in English, and the books are in English. Okay. So when they go on the internet, they go on in English. They do. Mm -hmm. right. But most of these kids speak three languages. They speak their tribal language, they speak Swahili, which is the national language, and they speak English. Right. So what is the general attitude toward uh, Americans in Tanzania? Oh, they love Americans. They love Americans, and they're very grateful for the help that we're giving them. I didn't even realize that there was a U.S. Embassy in Tanzania. Yes, in Dar es Salaam. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There was a big celebration, actually, in December. They had a big ceremony where they gave us our certificates, and the ambassador was there. And I think I saw that. So this, and this is, you know, we brought a couple of pictures. This also is a picture of, so this is the computer lab? Yes. And that is a computer lab that we want to add more computers to. We want to fill right. that room with computers. Right. And you brought something, because I was amazed. Hold up the computer okay. here. Let me, let's just see. This is the size of the computer. This is the computer that we I want to. I never saw this one. It's, it's I know. Like a, it's like, you know, it, oh, it's like a big cell phone. <laughs> a big one. Right. We want to use Where did the, you get, well, how, did, how did this computer get developed for you, Janice? Well, one of my technical advisors, Dennis, found that computer for us. It's developed by some people in Texas called Genesee. And Genesee, right. They, um, it's, it's designed to only use five watts of electricity. Oh, so even if you have, it's pretty, even if you have electricity, it's very efficient. Very efficient, because most computers typically use 50 watts. For the computer, 50 watts for the monitor. This computer uses 5 watts, and the monitor that we want to use uses 12 watts. Oh, wow. So it's a big savings. And yeah. it also runs on DC electricity. Oh, that's also. Which is what the solar energy produces. Oh, right. Oh, very good. So oh, you're, very you're, really, you're really a techie with all of this, <laughs> in, in addition to being uh, very magnanimous with your time and your talent. Well, I do have a technical background in terms of training, but I also have a team of technical advisors who have been very helpful. Uh, yeah. And, and what about the people who are learning that are going to be the teachers and the supervisors? Are the teachers taking these training courses? They are. We've had nine training sessions. And I taught the first one the first week. And the Tanzanian teachers watched me. And then they taught the second week. And then I observed them. And then the third week, they just taught on their own. And then they, since then, have taught all other technology training sessions. Right. So that's really the purpose of our organization, powering Potential. Yes. I want to power their potential. Yeah, you want them to grow, they, so they can be te they can become self sufficient. D exactly. And one of the teachers, Alban, has gone back to college to get a bachelor of engineering in information systems and network design, and he now is our country director, and he's working part time for us. Oh. So he's working with Symbinet, the satellite company, and Ensol, the solar company, and. We also, I'm working closely with the government officials in Tanzania. I've been, uh, had meetings with the head of the um, technology department at the Ministry of Education 
uh, as part of the national government, and also the district education officer works closely with Where me. Where geographically is Tanzania? It's on the east coast of Africa, right. and north south, it's in the middle. Right. Just and the, the bordering Kenya. countries? Kenya is to the north of it, and uh, Uganda, Rwanda, uh, Malawi. Right. So, is there any chance that is? Uh, what is the government in Tanzania? It's a democratic government. Elections. It's elections, and there's many women that are represented in the government. Right. As a matter of fact, they have a mandate that a certain percentage of the parliament is women. Are so, women. boys and girls. Girls go to school. Oh yes. Just like boys. Oh yes. Boys equal, and girls. Equal boys. opportunity. Oh, definitely. So, is there a potential? You say power that this. Um, uh, beehive of activity, of tech technology and education can move out to some of these other countries. I mean, especially I'm thinking in my mind, Uganda, Rwanda, we know what we have, what, what on, uh, and spread out in this piece of the world? Well, yes. I'm, I'm powering potential is starting in Tanzania, but I have gotten requests to do this in other countries. And it is starting to spread. Technology is coming. And they do have broadband now is starting to spread out in Tanzania. And it's amazing to me at a time when we are troubled by the uh, unsettled atmosphere throughout the world. It's amazing to me that a person, a Janice Lathan, a power <laughs> potential, and I feel that, you know, you, I mean, we interviewed you a year ago, and I'm hopeful that we helped you, you know, move forward. It's amazing to me that when people want to, individuals, they can get something so uh, uh, powerful going. Well, I, I guess so. I mean, I just had this idea, but a lot of people supported my idea and I helped know. me along the way. I never could have done it by Alone. myself. I, I get. I mean, I get that. I'm hoping. I'm hoping that we, you know, we we get brought you definitely uh, fame and fortune too. Oops. But even the the U.S. embassy picked up. I didn't realize that the embassies had the chance to give their own grants. They do. They they give community grants. And I had an interview at the embassy in August of last year, and they gave me an application for a grant. That's amazing. And I, Tell me something. We have about a minute left. Uh, how would you sum up your, how you feel about your, how, your program? Well, I feel very pleased at all the support that we've been getting, and I also feel, feel very pleased about how receptive everybody in Tanzania is to the project. Right. The government officials, right. the schools, the teachers, the students. I mean, also, everything looks so clean and, and, and caring. Oh, it's very, well cared for. Oh, yes, definitely. They, they're very appreciative. Yeah. You it's, know, uh, it would be nice, we have only a minute left, but if you could set up some kind of cross-cultural uh, um, in, you know, sharing on technology. You know, I bet there are a lot of, I mean, I, I mean, I had to ask you exactly where is Tanzania. You know, it, there ought to be a, a chance for some Americans to see what's going on, too. Well, we are planning a safari for Powering Potential patrons. Oh, we want to take them over to Tanzania so they can see the right. schools that we're okay, working look at what in. Came from, look what came from a safari from you. Yes. It sounds like a good idea. <laughs> right. Thanks for being on the show, and congratulations on your success and really on your own personal commitment. It's to be very much admired, Janice. Thank you, yeah. Judith. You're watching Getting Your Money's Worth with Judith West. Our guest was Janice Latham of Powering Potential. Thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs>